what's going on guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today we have a little bit of a different scenery i am filming this video in my little home gym setups all the gyms are going to be reopening this saturday here in wa um but i am still loving my little home setup it's a nice day i have the garage up the sun is shining it's nice temperature so i thought i bring the camera out make good use of this natural lighting hopefully too many cars don't go past like that but i'm making full use of this natural lighting and yeah filming my video here today so today's gonna be a short one and it's basically one to help people who are looking to compete pick the right federation and the right division so i always get this question from either new competitors or even competitors who have competed before um whether it be my clients or just from instagram people asking which federation i think they should compete in what division i think they should compete in especially um, for people competing for the first time they're not not sure um, which federation would best suit them. So today I'm going to give you my top tips on picking the right bodybuilding federation. Number one, it really depends on where you are located. So the first thing you want to think about is travel. Are you willing to travel away from your state or your country to compete in your first bodybuilding show? Most people are not comfortable doing that they don't want to do that they don't want to invest um, the money in like flights or driving too far so they really want to start with a local show so you really have to think about whether you're willing to travel for your first show before like picking a federation um, if your answer is no I did not want to travel then you'd have to look at what federations are available in your state and in your city I'm from Perth in Western Australia, so obviously um, federations, federations such as the WBFF is not available to us. So maybe someone who's starting off here who really likes the WBFF um, would have to reconsider if they don't wish to travel because there is no competitions um, for the WBFF here in Perth. Then you have to look at what federations are available in your city and then narrow it down from there. So that's the first thing you have to consider. The second thing and the most important thing um, you need to consider and the thing that I always tell my clients that they have to think about is ask yourself the question, what do you want to look like? A lot of people come to me and show, show me photos and ask me, which federation do you think I would suit or where I belong? I don't believe that you should change how you look based on what a federation or judges or people want you to look like. You need to look like how you want to look like. So the best thing to do, especially if you're totally brand new, is look at the top five physiques that you really admire be it if it's someone on YouTube, someone on Instagram, just pick five physiques that you really, really like and that you would aim to look like. Um, preferably pick competitors and then see what federations and what divisions they're in. And then you can get a better idea of the look that you're aiming for. It doesn't mean that um, you need to look like that right now. It's just somewhat of like an end goal of what you really want to look like. So for example, for me, I'm totally in love with Issa Pacini, which is um, our Miss Bikini Olympia's body. Round shoulders, nice tight waist, big glutes, super nice X-frame, very balanced, um, lean, muscular, but still very pretty and feminine looking muscle. And um, even though she has a lot of muscles, she still somewhat looks petite. So in a way, that's a type of physique that I really like and that I can always strive to look like. So that is how I know that I'm in the right federation. So a lot of you, um, if you followed my journey, you know when I first started, I actually competed in the IMBA and the NABA. Um, I competed there because I thought I didn't have enough muscle for IFBB, so I decided to do a different federation thinking that that was where I was more suited and it just didn't really work out for me. And I think I made a much better decision moving to the IFBB, even though I wasn't quite 
there in terms of development um, but I needed to be on stage with people who had the physiques that I look like that I respect that I um, look up to that would really push me to become better um, I couldn't really accept placing lower than other physiques that are just not what I aim to look like trying to say this in the nicest way possible so obviously in certain federations they prefer like a softer look a more natural look less muscular less conditioned whatever it may be but if that's not how you want to look like then that's not the federation for you so you know if, if you enter a show and they tell you oh you're too conditioned um, but you personally don't want to look less conditioned then maybe you should change the division or the federation to suit how you want to look like if you want to come in super shredded I think that's what you should do I don't think you should come in soft just because the judges say you should um, if you're in a federation and the judges are telling you to look away that you don't want to look then that's a clear sign that you know that that federation is not for you so you can definitely try out a bunch of different federations before making the decision I, I obviously did um, even in the IPB there's two different IPB so there's the IPB elite and then we have the NPC so again two very different looks very different posing styles so that's um, the next thing I was going to go to posing styles so WBFF have their own kind of posing the IVB elite have their own posing and the IVB pro league slash NPC PC also have their own specific type of posing and ever since um, the IVB split happened that's probably the best thing that could have ever happened for me because you know when I started my journey I always looked up to all the American IVB pros and they're all posed a certain way and for some reason the IVB elite didn't want us to pose that way and my physique just didn't look that good with the type of posing they wanted us to like do I just didn't enjoy that um, but I really loved the IVB praising and presentation and everything about it so um, I was really able to showcase my physique so much better um, when I was in the right federation with the right style of praising so that's another thing you should consider style of posing. I know a lot of people love the WBFF's posing, but a lot of people don't like the WBFF praising as well maybe they feel very uncomfortable um, and they just don't enjoy the flexibility that I um, that the WBFF allows their competitors to have. So maybe they want more mandatory poses. Um, like with the ICN, you do quarter turns. IMBA, you do quarter turns. Um, IPB Pro League, we only do front and back. So I personally like that. Um, and our front pose is quite fluid. So a lot of our front poses will be deemed as side poses for other federations. So again, that's something else you should think about. What kind of posing do you like? So again, a good way to do this is to watch videos of um, the athletes that you like if they post posing videos watch that um, otherwise you can go into the federation's website and have a look at their posing criteria see if they post any like photos and videos and really study um, how the athlete is presented on stage and then think about if that's how you want to come across you know a lot of bikini girls who have a good amount of muscle don't like the figure posing they don't like the rigidness and the the lat spreading and things Things like that and that's the reason why they don't want to do figure and that is totally fine you know so that's something you definitely need to think about um, the praising and how you want to come across so how you want to look like and how you want to come across with regards to praising all right so another thing is tr knowing what the look that federation is going for which can be very confusing for a lot of people and I will only say one thing look at the pros of that federation pros not the amateur winners a lot of people make the mistake of um, you know looking at a particular winner of a class or a winner of a state show or overall winner of a state show um, and then they compare themselves to that winner and and then if the next season the winner changes and they look different then people think that the federation changed what they're looking for but that's not the case the the criteria hasn't changed most of the times the criteria always stays the same what they're looking for always stays the same what's different is that 
caliber of athletes that show up. Everyone has such different bodies and the judges can only judge what's in front of them on the day and they're going to pick um, the person who resembles what they ideally look for the most. It doesn't mean that just because this year's winner is super shredded that they're definitely looking for someone super shredded. Like it may not be what they actually want, but that person looked the best on the day and so happened to be super shredded. So, so it's not a good comparison for you to compare, um, say this year's state winner to yourself and then be like, okay, do I, um, you know, do I look like that? The best thing to go by is the world champion so if you're looking at the wbff look at the wbff world champion look um look at her that would be generally what the look would be or at least what the judges would be looking for at the time you know the closest thing you can get to something that you can aim towards always aim for the best in the world so for me and ipb it's miss olympia so we can always um go based on her so you know they're best in the world for a reason so the best way to again have a very clear idea of what your federation is looking for is to look at the best in the world in that federation and that should help you um, make a better decision as to which federation to pick the next thing you need to consider is where you see yourself in this federation so a lot of people, they know they want to be in, say, IFBB eventually, but right now they really don't want to take that step yet. And that was me as well. And I'm here to tell you that that's totally fine. So you need to be realistic with yourself as to what your goal is. Um, maybe you want to take baby steps. Maybe your goal right now is I want to win ICN overall. And then once I win that, that will give me enough um, confidence for me to move on to IFBB. So that's fine as well. And when you think about your long-term goal, you want to think about exactly where you want to end up. You know, for me, it was not really a hard decision at all. Like um, there was, there's only one way to become Miss Olympia, um, compete at the Olympia in Las Vegas, the IFBB Olympia, Miss Olympia, the best bodybuilding show in the world. And um, the only way to do that is to become an IFBB pro. Um, all the athletes I looked up to at the time were IFBB pros, um, and I wanted to become an IFBB pro. So that naturally led me to compete in the IFBB pro league slash the NPC. So um, yeah, that's another way you can kind of pick a federation that you want to grow into. If you want to become like the next Lauren Simpson, the next Hattie, the next Rachel Dillon, those are the people you look up to. Um, you really love the WBFF look. Um, your goal is to become the WBFF world champion. Then that's the federation for you, you know? So you want to think about where you'd want to end up, where you really see yourself with this. And obviously there's a lot of other federations out there. Like I may, I may have missed them. Um, but just really seeing how far you want to take it and um, whether you want to turn pro, things like that are things you definitely need to consider. Once you've sort of picked your federation and you're kind of sitting in between divisions, um, maybe you're thinking that you might be too big for bikini or whatever the case may be. Again, I'm going to say the same thing to you come in looking like how you want to look like and then take the feedback from there. If you know you're not quite looking like a bikini girl, but that's what you really want, we have the power to change our bodies. You know, there's a lot of people who had too much size, um, but they were told to downsize or move up a class. If you don't want to move up a class because you don't like figure, because you don't want to grow big quads, because you don't want to go into wellness, that is totally fine. Just know that if bikini is what you want, then go for it. 100% go for it, you know, do whatever needs to be done. If you need to stop training legs for a whole year, hey, that's probably what you need to do. That's a lot of bikini girls that need to downsize because maybe they have been training for many, many years and they've sort of reached the ceiling of how much muscle they can have. Um, you shouldn't just change the division just because you're like, oh my God, I have too much muscle. Um, so now I'm going to have to put on even more muscle and then feel very uncomfortable in your own skin. I don't believe in doing that. So I believe if you want to put on muscle because you love muscle, like I love muscle, unfortunately, it's just not coming to me that easily, but I love girls with a lot of muscle. I think they're just so beautiful, 
so sexy in their own way with all their muscle um and you know i believe if that's what you want if that's the look you want to go for then definitely aim for that division if you want to be the next figure pro ibb figure pro go for it don't feel like you're too small or whatever it may be if you hate the bikini posing wearing heels and prancing around is not for you and you want to be a figure pro or like a figure athlete um just because it's your first competition, first federation, there is no reason why you shouldn't just jump straight into competing in IPB figure if that's what you want. You know, if you, you put in the work, come in condition, take the feedback, and you stand next to another figure competitor that is just absolutely amazing, I promise you that's going to push you even further to do even better and demand more of yourself. So you want to be able to be compared next to the best, and you want to be able to be compared next to people who you, even if you lost, that you'd be like, you know what? Um, she definitely deserved to win over me. There, there is no worse feeling than losing to someone who you're like, well, even though I lost to her, I don't want to look like her, you know? <laughs> so you don't want that. And when, if that happens, then you know that you're not in the right division or not in the right federation for yourself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the last thing I would say is if you, once you do pick a federation, you kind of, feel like that's one that you want to compete in, the next step is to go in person and watch the show. So you either watch replays on YouTube, so do your research online, look up all the athletes, look up as much videos as you can, as much praising videos, and then go to a show in person. Nothing is gonna give you a better idea of um, you know, the federation and the classes and the athletes than you going to the show yourself, checking it out, sitting in the audience, you know, see what the judges are looking for, what they pick, um, how the athletes present themselves, and um, whether you enjoy how the show was ran. I'm very proud that, you know, IVB Pro League here in Australia runs their shows so amazingly. And, um, you know, if I had clients who were thinking of going to the IVB, I would definitely 100% ask them to go to the show. and most of the time after going to the show like they love it you know um just because everything is run so well they like the environment they like the feeling they like the vibes so you know if you think that you want to compete in a certain federation go check out your local show and hopefully that would be able to help you make your decision much easier but just know that you can you can try out different federations before picking your end goal and which one you really want to pursue. But I hope this video was able to help you out a little bit. If you like the video, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and um, I would like to help you guys with little informative videos like this more often. So if you have any questions about anything to do with competing, anything to do with fitness at all, please comment below with your question and I could use that as an idea for my next video and I'll try to give you as much information as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.